season's best of Perich 2091 having come in the first round. Those are the unlucky men on the second page who uh, go out at this stage. Miknovic, though, season's best 2042, but Janus Roberts, goodness me, that is a classic tale, isn't it, Nigel, of mm, too much being given too early. Well, the fact that it should come in the same day is quite startling, really, because normally when you get up and you feel good, expect at least to match what you provided or you produced early morning. There is a leader of this competition, John Godina. It was an inauspicious start in the first round. His first putt, and going back to this morning's qualification, landed at about 18 and a half metres. And he's turned it round. So, Yanis Roberts has gone one way. John Godina has gone the other. Just a slight pause in the men's shot. Title, what a shame. Azi Haju commences the final stages of this men's shot put. This the fourth round. 2059 is best effort so far. That came in the third round. This one coming to you off tape from the fourth round. And the big Finn, the Olympic champion. Hurls a shot out to 2093 and goes into silver medal position. So this competition's not over yet by any stretch of the imagination. Well, there's the scene where the shot final has been contested, and uh, as Nigel said. The crowd in the stadium this afternoon, perhaps a little disappointing, particularly as there isn't a bigger gathering of spectators around that uh, bend of the track where the shot is unfolding. Now, Martinez in third place, thanks to this effort in the fourth round. Opened with a 2078, then a couple of no throws, then a bigger effort. Not significantly bigger, but enough to elevate him into the medal positions. 2091 there for the Spaniard. Well, he's third in the world rankings, third in the world championship final at the moment. He's had a very, very busy season, an unbeaten season, as I said. So I don't suppose he'll be satisfied with anything but gold here today. But he must know that uh, to take that, he has to throw a personal best by around half a metre. One is because Snyder, there he is. He's just stepped into the circle. He seemed to fall away from that one and gets the red flag, so he won't improve his position. That's his fourth consecutive no throw. He opened with a 2063. That was promising, but it's all going wrong now. And I'm not quite sure what he's smiling about. He's had four consecutive no throws, rounds two through to five. Adam Nelson then. Now Nelson currently lying in second place with 21-24. That for Nelson came in the fourth round and that's another big one from the American. Looks like the Americans are going to take a 1-2 in the shot because we're halfway through the fifth round, indeed two-thirds of the way through the fifth round from these remaining eight shot putters. And he has hit so much better form, such richer form this afternoon, Adam Nelson, than he had this morning. This morning, I think he threw 2013 to just sneak into the top 12 from the two qualifying groups. But this afternoon, 20 to four events after this first day. Connie Carlson, sixth and final attempt. What can he produce? No, that won't improve his position. So it's Godina in first place. In the gold medal position, 21-87 in the first round. In silver, Adam Nelson with 21-24, he throws next. And Arju 
of Finland, the reigning Olympic champion, is in third place, 2093 in the fourth round. Well, Adam Nelson will be next up. Very, very fired up for this one. A mountain to climb, relatively speaking. 2187 is John Godina's lead. Only Nelson and Perich now can deny John Godina the gold medal. Nelson is in the silver medal position already. Both he and Godina guaranteed medals. No, no. Trying too hard and lost it. And that one falling at around 19 metres. But Nelson acknowledging the applause from the crowd. So it's another silver for the American. To go with that from Sydney last year. Well, so it looks, perhaps I'm being, uh, getting ahead of myself there because Peric has yet to throw, and he uh, is in fifth place at the moment, the Yugoslav, and at his best, Peric could create an upset. 21.77 is lifetime best, but this year, only 20.43, his best on this occasion, 20.91, so he's already said a massive season's best as Peric today. He will throw next, then Godina there, who surely now must feel that that gold medal is his. This, the final throw before John Godina can start celebrating yet another world title. Perich then has been inconsistent, started well. Now that's around about 20 meters, just below 20 meters. So that won't improve his position. Remember, he the shot out to 2091 in the first round. Men's triple jump qualifying taking place while we're watching these pitches. And Jonathan Edwards has had a no jump and 16.51. Qualifying mark is 17.10 in that men's triple jump. Larry Achike has already achieved it. So Britain's Jonathan Edwards needs to pull something out in the third, third and final attempt. Well, this for Godina, a celebratory throw, really, an exhibition throw. He's already regained the world title that he lost two years ago to CJ Hunter. He won in 95, he won in 97, he's won now in 2001. Oh, and he gets the red flag after another big effort. But his winning throw, that massive opening heave in this final, 21-87. The uh, silver medal goes to the USA as well with Adam Nelson producing 21-24 in the fourth round. And Azi Haju, the Olympic champion, made sure that one of the three Finns got onto the rostrum. He takes the bronze medal with 20-93 in the fourth round. Great contest. Really high caliber of throwing. Two men over 21 meters. And let me see, all 12 men in this final over 20 meters. 